You think you know Breaking Bad? Well, here's 10 more things you may not have known about Mr. White and Jesse Pinkman. We will go our separate ways. Our paths will never cross. And we will tell this to no one. Understood? Oh, what, I can talk now? Fine. That goes double for me. The title, Breaking Bad, is based on a southern colloquialism, meaning, among other things, raising hell. Show creator Vince Gilligan chose the title to describe Walter White's transformation. Man, some straight like you giant stick up his ass all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? I'm 50. It's weird, is all, okay? It, it doesn't compute. AMC ordered nine episodes for the first season, including the pilot, but the Writers Guild of America strike of 2007 limited the production to only seven episodes. While there was no full-time chemistry advisor on set, the production did have some help. Donna Nelson, a professor of organic chemistry at the University of Oklahoma, checked scripts for scientific authenticity, provided dialogue, drew chemical structures, and wrote chemical equations that were used on the show. Everyone knows Wendy. Everyone knows it's Wendy, but in reality, Julia Menesee is quite different from her Breaking Bad character. She's incredibly fit, healthy, and has run several marathons. Her portrayal of Wendy had everyone convinced, even some locals. While filming a scene in character, a man drove up and was trying to proposition her, thinking she was a real prostitute. It's beautiful. That's right, folks. We are smack at the beginning of a Mythbusters Breaking Bad special. In a 2013 episode of Mythbusters, Jamie, Adam, and the gang tested to see if a bathtub of hydrofluoric acid could completely destroy a body as well as eat a hole through the floor, and if a chunk of mercury fulminate would explode, injuring bystanders and breaking windows. Both myths were busted. A Spanish-language shot-for-shot remake of Breaking Bad premiered in 2013, entitled Metastas. Starring Diego Trujillo as Walter Blanco, Walter White, and Roberto Urbina as Jose Miguel Rosas, Jesse Pinkman. The exterior of Walter White's home is a real house in Albuquerque. The nice old woman who lives there doesn't mind fans taking pictures in front of her house, but she asks that you not throw pizzas on her roof. What one particular element comes to mind? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, a liar. Uh, copper. Actual drug dealers began adding blue food coloring to their meth in an attempt to trick customers into thinking that their drug is more pure, like the shows. But actual pure methamphetamine is not blue, it's colorless. In an interview, Brian Cranston revealed that the DEA chemist actually taught him the exact process for cooking meth, but he claims he never got to actually cook any. God, Jesus, God. Shut up. Oh. Wow. The last scene shot for the series was Walt and Jesse's flashback in the episode Ozymandias. And here's a bonus one. Was Brian Cranston on Power Rangers? You're goddamn right. Cranston had a brief voiceover role as the villain Snizzard, and according to Cranston, the Blue Ranger's alter ego is named after him. Now you shall take my firepower! Yeah! 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 That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com. 